All right, hello everyone. So, welcome to the last chapter of Kyle Knox's Lost Alice story. Oh, I have been waiting for this. It's just, ah, okay, let's go. Kyle Knox, chapter 13. We found ourselves in a pure white distorted space, a jet black void like ink bleeding into paper, suddenly spread before us. I won't let you escape, Alice. Out of the void came the spinner of tails. What sent chills down my spine was the relentless, obsessive resonance in his voice. Mitchie, stay back. The spinner of tails slowly reached out to me as I stood behind Kyle. You are the protagonist of my tale. The Alice that Wonderland eagerly waited for. This tale needs you. Without you, there is no tale. So come with me. The voice of the spinner of tales was serene. However, it was also dripping with deep-seated anger. You can enjoy an eternity in this land of dreams. No more sadness, no more pain. I softly let out a breath. Yeah. I did have a lot of fun in Wonderland. I'm really grateful for the lovely dreams you showed me when I was grieving, but I'm not going to change my mind. I told the spinner of tales. Hmm. This seems, yeah, not your house. Listen, I'm going to be straight with you because of how important this is. I took a deep breath and gave him a piece of my mind. I'm not your Alice. I'm not yours, and I'm not your Alice. Do you understand that? Alice! The spinner of tales screamed the young girl's name in an arguably heartbroken voice. The name of a young girl in his never-ending tale, nowhere to be found. But, I have something I need to apologize to you about. I fixed my eyes on the spinner of tales and softly spoke. I accepted your invitation and became Alice in order to escape the harshness of reality. But I changed my mind. He must have been shocked when he learned that I wanted to return to reality. Hmm. You must have been eagerly waiting for Alice to come to Wonderlands for so long. I could clearly sense just how deeply rooted those feelings were by how obsessed he was. But even then, I still want to go home. I have to return to reality. I am so sorry. The spinner of tails clenched fists were trembling. Was he enraged, or was he feeling something completely different in his heart? I may never know the answer. I didn't ask for this. I never wanted Alice to apologize to me. I'm sorry, but that still didn't make me Alice. I am who I am. I don't belong to anyone else. My name is Mitchie. But... Oh, wait, let me rephrase that. If I'm going to belong to someone, then that would be to the person I love. I won't let you, Alice. I won't allow it. Yes, that was the best choice. Oh, hopefully, hopefully there's one more that I can do. At least one more that I can do. There are usually two. The ink-like magic filled this void, flew right at me. I'm not going to let you do this, Spinner of Tales. As, instinct as I instinctively braced myself, Kyle used his moonlight magic to protect me. Their magic collided right in the middle and disappeared. What? The Spinner of Tales stood motionless in blank amazement. This can't be... The Cheshire can't, can't do this to me. He's part of my tale. Haha, <laughs> did you forget? A mischievous grin shot across Kyle's face. I was kicked out of Wonderland. I've been completely cut out of your tale. <gasps> Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't stand a chance against the creator of the tale. But I'm not bound by your rules anymore. I can fight for myself and for Mitchie. For our tail together. Kyle waved his hand in the air as if he were a conductor. 
Thereupon, rays of light formed in the sky and rained down on the spinner of tails like a claw of gold. <sighs> the spinner of tails knocked away the bolts of light with his quill and cast a dark ray at Kyle. The magic spread out like ink and painted a ring, trying to wrap itself around him. Sorry. Kyle's lip curled upward in a mischievous manner. It, it were as if he had been waiting for this moment. While they appeared to have been reflected, Kyle's rays of light changed course and knocked away the spinner of tail's magic. Holy cow! And they shot right through the spinner of tail's magic, heading right toward him. Ugh. Let me be honest with you, spinner of tails. Nobody wants any part of what you write. Your tail won't bring anyone happiness. Maybe it's about time you threw that and brush away. Kyle's magic beautifully snapped the spinner of tails quill in two. My Alice. My Wonderland. Ink splashed out from the broken pen. Kyle, where are you? I count out the name of my dearly beloved in this pitch black world. Michi. And he said my name back. I could gradually make out Kyle's face as my eyes slowly got used to this world of darkness. Kyle, thank goodness. What, were you that worried about me? Of course I was. I almost thought the ink erased you or something. Thank you, Michi. Kyle wrapped his arms around me as he smiled, and I tightly squeezed him back. We're free now. Not even the spinner of tails is going to be able to hold us back anymore. Yeah. Kyle's warmth immediately melted the fear smoldering in my heart, and I... Okay. Big choice. I think moving forward is our best option. The tale of Wonderland written by the Spinner of Tales is now over. This is the beginning of our tale together. Filled with both relief and worries, I look up into Kyle's eyes. Hey, Kyle? What is it? Tell me that you'll never leave me alone. Kyle didn't even have to think about it. I'll always be here for you, Mitchie. His gen gently voice and his loving words melted away all of my worries. Even though my role as Cheshire Cat is over, I'll always be by your side, love you more than anyone else, and I'll guide you to the future. I promise. Kyle. I smiled and gazed back into his eyes. Kyle's eyes affectionately creased as he gave me a gentle kiss. Oh, I was so close. Oh, please let there be at least one more. I am begging you. It was then. Mitchie? Kyle? That voice? Is that Al? What is he doing here? A white ball of fur came dashing toward us through the darkness. Al? Oh, thank goodness! I finally found you two! Al saw us and hopped up and down in joy. Kyle and I were so surprised to see him that we had no idea what to say. Uh, Al. Kyle was the first to say something. He asked the same thing I wanted to. How in the world did you get here? Oh, I'm pretty good at going in between different worlds in Wonderland. So everybody told me to come get you two. Everyone? Yep, follow me. And he immediately hopped off. Kyle and I looked at each other, but we soon followed Al without even giving it a second thought. We ran and we ran through the never-ending darkness. And we finally saw a light. Prepare to jump! We Al leapt into the white glittering light. Let's go, Mitchie. Yeah. Kyle and I held hands as we hopped together into the light. 
on the other side of the shining corridor. Checkpoint challenge. Yes, oh, I just keep making it. Like I've been playing the game just just randomly at, at my spare times whenever there's, whenever I have energy to do it. And, ah, oh, it's paying off, yes. Kalieda. Welcome back, Michi. We're all greeted by everyone in Wonderland with open arms. Wow, Kyle, I wasn't expecting you to defeat the Spinner of Tails and come back here. You've changed quite a bit since you met her. She was the only one not bound by the tail. I took a quick, quick glance at everyone and picked up on what he meant. We're, we're about to come back thanks to everyone here. Everyone's magic saved us. Joker nodded with a faint smirk and spoke in his usu usual cynical fashion. The Queen of Hearts begged us to help you know, so you'd better thank us later. It wasn't easy making a road home for you guys. Joker, you're a talk a big game, but wasn't Al the one who actually did all the work? Yeah, most of it, maybe. Joker deeply smiled and nodded in response to Kyle's friendly banter. Michi, I'm glad you're safe. Thank you, Luke. You helped save us too, right? Kyle and I are safe because you all brought us back from that world. That world can't express how thankful I am. No, it's... Luke faintly averted his gaze before muttering. Michi, it looks like your feelings for Kyle have grown into something special. I yeah I guess. Well, it was embarrassing to admit it. There was no reason for me to deny it. That was why I agreed, but... It feels weird talking to Luke about this. I wonder why. Something was really bothering me, but I had no idea why. Is there something I still haven't remembered yet that's making me feel this way? I wanted to remember, but trying just made my head throb in pain. I probably just need to wait a little before I remember. I just need to take, take things slowly. So, just then, Al took a step forward and glanced at everyone with a look of worry in his eyes. What's wrong, Al? So, what's going to happen to Wonderland now that the Spinner of Tails is gone? Don't worry, Al. It's going to be okay. I gently rubbed Al's little worried head. Then I said to him, Wonderland can still move forward even without the Spinner of Tails. R really? Really. There was never even a spinner of tails in the real world, where I'm from, to begin with. You can decide your own future. You're free to live your lives however you like. I see. Al blinked in a puzzled manner. She's right. Wonderland still didn't disappear even after the spinner of tails did. So how about we start our own tails from now on? Making our own tails? Sounds pretty fun. It looks like Wonderland is going to go through a drastic change. Wonderland and the real world used to be separated by a magic mirror, but... Now that the Spinner of Tails is gone, it looks like we'll be free to come and go as we please. So, Michi, it looks like you can live in either world from now on. What do you two plan on doing? Hmm... Kyle spoke up before I could say another word. We're going to take our time thinking about our future together. Kyle smiled as he began to pull me out of the group, guiding me toward our future together. A preview? For what? So, it looks like this is the end. Nobody knows what awaits on the next page, according to the Queen. Hey, people of the real world, it's, isn't it scary not knowing what's on the next page? It made me a little nervous just thinking about it, to tell the truth. But Alice, Mitchie, taught me that. That that was what freedom was, I can talk. I can hardly wait any longer. I'm kind of a klutz, so I'd probably get lost and mess up a few times. But I'm going to give it my all and never give up. Now, on to the next page. The blank page. The page of freedom. 
Time to choose your ending. Oh, so... I can get to the destined love. Can I reread the endings? Oh, majestic. Oh, yes, I choose this. No change allowed after this section. Yes. Destined loved ending. A few days had gone by since then, and Kyle and I finally came back to this place. The mirror was here, reflecting my heart's desire. Huh. What's wrong, Mitchy? Kyle, you are born as a character in a tale, right? But to me, we're no different. We're both people. Oh, do you really think so? Kyle's eyes creased in a teasing manner as he wagged his cat-like tail about. Well, we're basically no different. We both have a heart, and we can communicate with one another. No two humans look exactly alike, you know. Your ears and tail are just things that make you, you. <laughs> you really have, a, have an interesting way of looking at things, Mitchie. Anyway, what I'm worried about now is whether or not you can go to the real world. If it's actually even possible for someone from Wonderland, someone born without, out of a tail. While I may have been worried, Kyle was extremely casual about it all. Who knows what will happen? I've never tried it before. Yeah, but... Kaya immediately stared at me with earnest eyes. But I think it's worth a shot. I want to live with you in the same world, Michi. If you want to face reality, then I want to be there with you no matter what. His words melted away my doubts, bringing a smile to my face. Thank you, Kaya. You're welcome, I guess. I just want to be with you until the very end, Mitchie. I don't want to ever be apart, and I promise I'll always be there for you. It almost sounds like you're proposing to me. Well, that was kind of the point, you know? Kyle grinned without question. K Kyle? I was taken by surprise. He caught me off guard. I could even feel my cheeks begin to blush. I tried to pay it off by slightly changing the subject. Shouldn't you have been giving... Oh wait, no, that... Mm. Shouldn't you mm, have maybe given me some warning before you said that? Why? Kyle mischievously smirked. Then out of nowhere, he reached out and raised my chin up. Our faces now only a hair's breadth away. He gazed into my wavering eyes and whispered in a deep, passionate voice. We're going to a whole new world together. I think now is the best time to talk about important things. All right, Kyle. I soon gave up as he whispered sweet nothings into my ear. Kyle was so close that I couldn't even see his face. I lowered my gaze and spoke to him as if I were fed up in order to hide my embarrassment. All right, you win. Now let me go. Nope. Cut. My lips were sealed before I could even get another word out. The kiss slowly became more passionate, sending bolts of lightning down my spine. I clasped his chest in an effort to give him, get him off, but his lips conveyed pleasure even in that. The moment his lips finally drew apart from mine, I was gasping for air. So, Mitchy, what do you say? What? I'm talking about the proposal. Will you marry me? Kyle, couldn't you at least give me some time to think? I strongly protested against his ungentlemanly behavior. Huh. Well, 
What's there to think about? You've already made up your mind. Mm. As much as I didn't want to admit it, he had a point. Well, if you need some time, we could continue what we were doing until you make up your mind. Do you mean... The kiss, of course. We don't have to stop there, though. I glared at Kyle as he mischievously smiled and got a little worked up. Fine, I don't need any time to think about it. So? Of course, yes. Kyle's smile deepened. I love you, Mitchie. Kyle, I love you too. Kyle grinned as he kissed my head so affectionately, as if he were apologizing for teasing me. I felt a little better after that. So, ready to go? Yeah. Okay. I will be back in a moment. I gave Kyle a firm nod and faced the mirror. We naturally held hands and leapt into the mirror. A real world. Ever since then, Kyla and I have been living together in the real world. Well, Today, we're going to the library, and shopping too. Yeah, sure. I just enjoy going out with you, so thanks for taking me. You don't need to thank me for everything. Kyle always showed me around Wonderland. It was now my turn to guide him. How do you feel, Kyle? Are you getting used to life here yet? Yeah, I'm getting there. Kyle smirked. His cat-like ears and tails were nowhere to be found. Kyle's magic was the key behind his appearance looking normal in this world. He could still use his magic in this world, perhaps to being born as a character from a tale. He couldn't use it as freely as he did in Wonderland, though. There's still a lot of things I'm not used to seeing yet, but things have gotten better. What kind of things are you not used to yet? Like, the sweets here. They don't move at all, and the books don't even bite you. <laughs> Yeah, everything was pretty lively in Wonderland. I could see why Kyle would think that was strange. But he was an excellent student. I only needed to explain things once to him. We strolled around town today in the real world, chatting about the silliest of things. Mitchie, could you give me a second? Huh? Kyle stopped in front of, in front of me for a second and went into the living room alone. After a moment went by, he turned around, looked at me, and smiled. Welcome home, Mitchie. Thank you, Kyle. A home where my parents no longer were. A place where no one would have welcomed me home if Kyle weren't here. He, his care warmed my heart. Kyle, welcome home. They were such powerful wo words, despite that we went out and came back home together today. Alright, let's spend the afternoon in Wonderland today. Do you need to go to Wonderland for something? Yeah. Actually, Owen told me that he wanted to see what chessboards look like in the real world. Owen said that? Yeah, he asked me to bring one by when you were out. Remember when we went to see went to Wonderland last week? He came by the house. Really? He came all the way here just for that. Yeah, he wanted to see you too. Hmm? Is Kyle okay? I gave Kyle a quizzical stare as he suddenly fell quiet. So we started talking about chess. And when I told him that there was chess in the real world, he got real excited. Oh, neat. Hmm? That almost sounded sarcastic even. He was the one who asked about Owen, so I thought he'd be interested. I couldn't figure out why I'd gotten into him. Kyle's mood was, a w was as whimsical as a cat. We went straight to Alice's house when we arrived in Wonderland. I placed a few belongings from the real world on the shelf in the bedroom. Mitchie, do you want me to put on some coffee for you? No, I'm fine. Thanks, though. I said with a smile after Kyle peeked in from the living room. I'm almost finished with things in here. 
So let's go to the chess kingdom. Oh, it's probably been waiting for us. Hmm. Kyle? Kyle fell into a deep silence once again. He had been fine ever since we got here. Or at least, I thought he was okay. But then it hit me. Wait, Kyle. Are you jealous? Of course I am. Kyle pouted his lips in a sulking manner, forcing me to let out a snicker. I couldn't help myself. I'd never seen him make such an adorable face before. Owen's our friend, you know. I just want to give him a chess set. He should just buy one himself. Oh, but he's the king of an entire nation. I'm sure he's a little busier than us. Owen could visit us in the real world too if he wanted to. But there was still some work to be done in Wonderland now that the Spinner of Tales was gone. People in power were especially busy. Owen and the Queen of Hearts were being careful that their people felt safe. Owen has a personal interest in the real world, but he still prioritizes his country and people first. Would giving such a magnificent king a present really be all that bad? And I also owed him one for telling me about Kyle's past. It may not be much, but I wanted Owen to know how much I appreciated him. But... Michu. Kyle said my name in a slightly different manner than usual. You two sure have gotten close lately. Uh, Kyle, are you mad? Yeah, a little. Kyle grinned as he grabbed me by the wrist. I know Owen's a great guy, not only as a king, but as a human being as well. I really respect the guy, but... Kyle's smirk was unfading but his eyes weren't laughing in the slightest. I hate it when you're nice to him. Ah, uh, Kyle! Kyle forced me onto the bed and lied on top of me before I could even say a word. K Kyle, I think there's been a misunderstanding. Owen's just a friend. The person I love is... It doesn't matter if he's just a friend. Mm. This matter needed to be immediately addressed. And yet, I couldn't stop my heart from racing as he gazed into my eyes. You're not going... You're not going to let me do something nice for our friends? I naturally sulked, but Kyle was unfazed. Mitchie, you didn't know? Your heart belongs to me. You sound like a tyrant. That is how deeply I am in love with you. Kyle sent me a piercing gaze with his, with his clear, amethyst-like eyes. You can't blame me when you're the one worried about some other guy. Looks like I'm going to have to use some force to get you to realize that. He passionately whispered with a seductive glow in his eyes. Thereupon, he brushed his long fingers against my skin. <clears throat> you're not going to be able to get me out of your head when I'm done. Kyle, wait, I... Mitchie, you're going to be screaming my name until you're hoarse. Kyle's passionate words drowned out my pleas as his lips brushed against my skin. I could hear the sound of birds chirping. Is it already morning? I slowly opened my heavy eyelids as my body was still crying in exhaustion. Well now. Good morning, Mitchie. Kyle had his arms wrapped around me under the blanket. Kyle. Being held in his arms and waking up like this reminded me of when we first met. I wasn't really comfortable with it then, but now... Kyle was pretty aggressive yesterday, but I... I love Kyle too. I would have kicked him right in the solar plexus if I really wanted him to stop. Hmm. But... Just thinking about it made my cheeks begin to burn, and I screamed inside my head. He went too far yesterday. Kyle spoke up as if he were worried about me, probably since I had been quiet for so long. Did I overdo it yesterday? Yeah, you did. I was already basically ready to forgive him, but it made it sound like I was in a bad mood. I had to at least pretend I was mad because of everything you put me through yesterday. I'm sorry, Michi. I just can't control myself around you. 
I never knew loving someone would be like this. There's something new every day. Do you really feel sorry for what you did? I wish I could tell you that I was. Kyle whispered embarrassingly as he tightly squeezed me in his arms. Michi, I can hardly control myself. Just touching you like this makes me want more and more. Kyle? I involuntarily screamed in embarrassment. Will you forgive me, Michi? Of course. I'd even forgive him after how aggressive he was being. That was how much I loved him. Besides, Kyle was always so gentle when he touched me. He would never do anything that would make me uncomfortable. I'll forgive you, but I have one condition. What's that? You have to give me a good morning kiss. Kyle's lips curled from ear to ear as I playfully creased my eyes. I couldn't ask for more. Good morning, Michi. Kyle's sweet kiss filled my heart with pure bliss. I found something truly dear to me in Wonderland, a world I wandered to into the depths of my despair. I found a future, a future together with the one I love. And I got destined ending. There. Well then. Destined loved ending. Let's see. Let's see. Wait. So I can choose again. Well, for now, I'm just gonna go home, but yeah, okay, so that was Kyle Knox's story, or the Cheshire Cat. Oh, yeah, that was, that was really good for, yeah, you know, for, for my first Shall We Date game. Like, I like that you do, you can get free tickets, but for the occasional impatience that I get, you can get more tickets. But yeah, the fact that it's, that you can kind of get it for free is cool too. So, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, bye.